from Broxham House, one of my favorite wedding venues. So today we'll talk about different options, whatever you can do photography wise here. Forest, grounds, lake, beach, house, you have all sorts of possibilities here. So I thought I'm gonna make a quick video just to walk you through with, you know, what can we do here and how this could possibly look like in the photos. So let's start a little bit with the kind of grounds themselves so you can see kind of like everything around here. Pretty cool, really nice space, you know, uh, for all sorts of the things you can do here. You know, you have your group photos here, you can do your couple photos here, you know, beautiful tree. Um, over there you would have, that's where your outdoor ceremonies would be happening. So uh, we're gonna quickly just walk through here. So this is, this is where the outdoor ceremonies would be happening. So right here, that's it. So that's happening all here. You would have the chairs like in kind of like two rows and you would have this awesome background. This beautiful tree here. Uh, so that's that. You would have all of that basically in the background. And you would be facing that way. Well, normally. So that's kind of like, you know, one side of the grounds. <laughs> we have a grass cutting going on today. So uh, hopefully you can't hear much of that. But yeah, so you have your main house. Uh, main house marquee over there car park who is behind the building we're we'll, gonna kind of like show you a little bit of that as well over there you have the forest so this venue is this this venue is very unique with in regards of what can it give you kind of like um, photo wise you have forest grounds you have you know the the grounds right here, open plan kind of like grounds. You have a house. Um, you're gonna see later kind of like a, a lake. You can go also on the beach. I mean, photography wise, this is like your oyster. You can do so many different things here. You know, you're not limited by, you know, whatever small spaces and, you know, and things like that. I mean, you know, you can use this in rain time, uh, your, <clears throat> rain time sunny days you know you can do all sorts of different you know things here so that's that's why I won't, uh, this is one of my kind of like favorite venues because you can you can do so many things here I mean the probably what you need to remember in regards of this is you know one thing is you can do so many things but you do have to kind of like focus you know I normally bring couples here and I explain okay guys what do you want to do do you want to go to the forest? Do you want to go to the uh, pond? Do you want to go to the beach? You know, let's focus here. Let's make some decisions because, you know, we have only so much time, you know, to do things basically here. So make sure that, you know, whoever you hire here, they kind of like, you know, um, know what they are doing and, and you know, have explained your options as well of all sorts of different possibilities here. So, so that's basically, <clears throat> you know, that. Let's head into the house. And I'll kind of walk you through a little bit of in the house, you know, what can you do and how um, it could potentially look like in a house. And we are talking about here more like a, um, a getting ready house. This is where, you know, um, normally girls would be getting ready in a main house. And there's a separate house. You can see behind over there, there's a separate house. Uh, for, for getting ready, but generally I have taken photographs uh, with girls getting ready in the main house. There is also a possibility for boys um, to have a separate, like, um, I think it's like a cottage type of thing. The house here on the grounds is very pretty as well, so there's a possibility of that. Right, let's head into the house. Now we are in a house. This is normally where you would meet um, Simon, the owner, or a wedding coordinator to talk about your wedding. So this is kind of like the main living room, I would say. You can see one of my albums here as well. So that's uh, Gemma's and Andrew's wedding. You can see all sorts of pictures here. So 
basically that yeah so this is one of the main living rooms um, this this would actually this would be also your uh, a rain plan especially for group photos couple photos you can you know come here get your pictures done here so there's quite a few possibilities what you can do do here as well light is pretty good in this uh, room so you have a staircase over there where you could get some photos done this is another room this is uh, where uh, sometimes it's like a smaller weddings happen but generally again you can use this for uh, for kind of like uh, group photos um, couple photos this is the balcony from uh, from outside so but yes this is another option you know where you, if if for whatever reason weather is not playing up you know you can come and do some photos in here then you have uh, one more room which has a really good light as well which is this one here again you have a you have a fireplace over there uh, it's kind of like just a it's pretty light in here and you can do kind of like you know pictures maybe over there you know kind of like by the fireplace so there's again some more options you know just in case for the weather generally you know whenever I've been here you know weather has been pretty good here so you know, hey! <laughs> that's silent that's owner <laughs> so so that's that. Let's head upstairs. So I'm gonna quickly show you the get one of the getting room or ready rooms. So for the girls, I normally take the girl portraits in here. So this is where you, I would normally take uh, kind of like uh, girl group photos or the kind of like getting ready part it would normally happen somewhere here. Then I would just use kind of like that space, you know, to photograph kind of like group photos and whatnot. Beautiful wardrobe. So kind of again, you know, um, beautiful light up here, by the way, in the mornings, pretty much always really nice to photograph here. So yeah, so this is kind of like upstairs getting ready room. And there is another one downstairs. We're gonna um, head now and I'm gonna show you, show you a little bit that one too. So this is a uh, downstairs uh, girls getting ready room. Um, this is where mainly all your hair and makeup would be happening. So probably the station normally is over there. You have again beautiful wardrobe, you know, to put maybe the dresses down or something. Uh, look at this poster bed. Amazing. It's beautiful. I have done quite a few things kind of like over there. But yeah, <clears throat> this is where the normally all your getting ready madness would be happening all kind of here hair makeup and then normally you know I would just head up tidy up the upstairs room and go and take the kind of like all more um, groove photos and things like that up there depends if it's in a use or no um, all depends but but generally yes uh, kind of like this one is used as a base to do the all hair makeup unless you're in another house um, doing all of that so what we'll do now we're just gonna kind of head outside um, and uh, have a look uh, on kind of like forest options and a pond and things like that. Now we are again outside on ground. So that's your beautiful staircase. This is where you would take kind of like a big group photos. So that's kind of like all everyone together. I pretty much always use that. And it looks always great, you know, to do those kind of photos there. Um, smaller groups you can do it either here or sometimes I do them just right up on the top it's nice and flat there so drinks reception would be happening kind of like in, in, um, in that area over there so that's all would be sorted there let's head to the forest you know I want to show you a little bit of forest um, so you can have a good idea how that looks like So we are now in a forest area. So this this looks depend, uh, differently dependent on the season. So in a May time, for example, this all this all area in May time is green. There will be like a wild garlic coming up, and it looks pretty beautiful in the photos as well. This is kind of like where you can get kind of like more your moody shots, kind of 
with the trees and everything. It can look quite um, dramatic, basically, if you if you want to do some of that kind of like a foresty look. But you have options there. So normally we would have like a walking, walking on a path images, you know, do thing, <coughs> things like that over there. Or kind of like deeper in a forest, you know, you would have kind of like you can get kind of walking through the trees and, you know, and things like that. But yes, yeah, depends on the weather, uh, on, the, on the season. This can look differently. So at the moment we are in September here. So this is um, uh, September time. So it's kind of like heading into the autumn. And obviously all the greenery is pretty much uh, basically um, gone. But uh, that just to give you an option, you know, that you know you have a forest basically here where you can come and take photos. This is also probably quite okay option if it, the weather is a bit rainy. You know, to come with umbrella here, I think it's pretty okay um, to come uh, to do some more photos, kind of like here, you're hidden kind of like by the trees, you know, so, you know, it's quite handy. Or you can just do it right here, you know, on the edge of the forest, you know, kind of like here under this tree. So the light is pretty still good and you have that kind of like greenery, a little bit of background as well. But that's kind of like your forest option. Uh, right there, <clears throat> I'll show you. I'll show you a, a pond as well. So that's kind of like another side, little kind of like lake thing. And then I'll take you to the beach as well. So let's let's head that way. Just before I head to the to the pond and the beach, I wanted to quickly touch base on a marquee. So you see the marquee in the background. Uh, what I like here, well, one thing you know is that. Uh, Everything is taken care of, you know. Simon is really hands-on, you know. Helps with whatever needed to be done. So that's one point which is really great here. But in, in terms of marquee, what I have seen here probably over the last few years is that evening food, you know, uh, is amazing here. Uh, they would like make a fire during summertime out here. You can come and sit, you know. Outside is, is beautiful here, right? And then you have a marquee. Marquee is quite large, you know. You can serve quite uh, large basically wedding parties here uh, <clears throat> and they have a stage and everything stage is actually separated from the kind of like from the main uh, main part of the marquee they would have like a curtain in front of the dance floor and that would just be removed uh, once the dancing starts so in theory you're not really turning around rooms which is kind of like a good point that means your guests could you know stay still into the main room, you know, and enjoy whatever they drink and, uh, you know, and see it like that. So that's quite handy for, for a marquee because normally, you know, the room would be turned around and all these kind of things. So the guests would need to leave the room, go somewhere else, then come back. So uh, pretty much none of that is really happening here. And, you know, or guests, if it's nice summer evening, they can just come out, you know, and and have a good time with friends, you know, here or e meeting evening guests or something like that. So that's kind of like a touch base about the marquee for you. So here we are, the lake. Beautiful. So you have actually they have refurbished this. So yes, another option for you. You know, if maybe you don't want to go to the beach or a little bit too far or anything, this is literally what it was. A minute drive, two minute drive, something. You know, uh, <clears throat> beautiful. You can you know get some pictures on the pier. You can climb up. You get some shots from the top. You know, walking along the lake is you know pretty as well. I mean, again, you know, lots of different options what you can do here, you know, wall is your oyster depending how experienced is your photographer, you know, with locations, poses and things like that. But yeah, this is another go gorgeous place, you know, to get some pictures done. Um, you have a, a boathouse over there, you know, you can hire that one out. If, I think they sometimes use it for uh, night after or something for couples to stay in. Um, but yeah, that's another option, you know, or maybe night before you want to stay in there. Um, that's an option for you to hire out as well. So, <clears throat> but yeah, 
this is a gorgeous place, you know, to get some more pictures done. Um, normally, my couples kind of would be like, the, you know, they want to go to, on, um, to the beach. But beaches are slightly further away, so you need to be wary more of the time, you know, um, and things like that. So it's, it's a great option, but, you know, you need to kind of make sure that you're on a time back or do it in the evening. Or, for example, maybe if the weather is a little bit kind of like funny, you know, on the day, windy, for example, like crazy wind or things like that, you probably don't want to go to the beach, you know. It's quite open space, you know. Windy. Here is like it's more secluded, you know, forest is all, all the way around, so that's quite, <clears throat> you know, cool. Uh, so, yeah, so maybe if you want to s skip the beach, you know, and have more kind of like let's get some more um, kind of like a water type images you know this is still a great option for you to have so we're going to quickly do a little bit of footage you know around here and we'll be heading to the beach sorry guys um, the wind was so crazy on the beach that the the voice was just uh, impossible to hear. So I'm just sitting now in the office and I'm going to try to re-record basically what I was talking about on the beach. And meanwhile, you know, you can see whatever I was um, doing on the beach. So first off, you know, you can see the beach is quite wide. So it's very nice. It's a uh, good spread, even if it's very busy on the beach with people, especially during summertime, could be. You know, you still have places where you could go, you know, kind of like hide away and get those kind of like a water beach uh, type of um, images. So that's quite <clears throat> good for that. The, normally during the summertime, you would come to the beach, you know, either the sunset, so that would be after the meal, or, you know, maybe um, before you sit down for a meal, depends, you know, that's kind of like 6, 7 o'clock in the evening or more, maybe around 4 o'clock. I would say, I would strongly recommend to come there, uh, uh, to go there for around 6, 7 o'clock. The light is beautiful, kind of like um, on a beach, so I love going, you know, uh, at that time there. And it's much more settled and it's normally um, not so busy there. So um, in terms of like where would you go on a beach, you know, there are like a rocky parts, you know, I like to go to those rocky parts on the beach as well, um, kind of like the, the, the view is pretty over there and then you can do some like nice wide kind of like a walking shots um, along the beach, you know, <clears throat> I, lo I like the also grassy long grass parts. Um, on a beach so it gives you more variety you can have some nice like foliage green colors um, or you could sometimes uh, I've done pictures where the couples actually lie down bring the blanket lie down in the grass you know or standing grass you know it's just a nice textures you know um, it, it, it looks beautiful um, in a couple portraits you can also park the wedding car on the road you know and get some pretty pictures like the while the car is there and normally there are not very rarely cars are um, in the background so you can have like nice like a sky wide shots with the car and you too or like more kind of like um, cozy images while you're sitting in the car you know and something like that uh, <clears throat> but yes you know um, there's so many you know things what you could basically do um, on this on, on the beach few things to for to consider for you bear in mind so today it was super windy on the beach like you know it, it was windy and as you can as you saw earlier uh, at the venue it was very quiet there was almost no wind at the venue and you came out to the beach and it was totally like windy blowing like crazy so that's something for you to bear in mind you know um, that it could be windy on the beach so make sure your veil is really fixed you know it's not gonna fly away make sure you bring walking shoes with you so you can move about quite um, quickly. I mean, sometimes you can wear high heels on those rocky parts, but you know, obviously you're not gonna go uh, in the sand with your um, wedding shoes. So that's pretty much kind of like it, you know, in terms of um, the beach. The drive itself is probably around five, five minutes or so, you know, to drive from the venue to the beach, you know. Uh, but obviously you can test this out before um, you know the wedding day yourself so time make sure timing is um, done very well for this because this this is uh, like definitely a half an hour you know 
to get the pictures done, you know, get back in a car, you know, shoot back to the to the wedding venue. So, you know, something for you to consider. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. You know, um, thank you very much, and hopefully this video was very helpful for you. And if you have any questions, just let me know.